All right, folks, in this lesson, we're going to be learning the solo to Amy by Pure Prairie League. Not an easy solo. Um, it's kind of bluegrass, pretty fast picking, but it can be done. Just got to take it a bar at a time. I'll try to show you some of the theory behind the notes, too, so that you can kind of improvise over it as well. So it's over the A. Then it goes to C and D and up to E, changes a little bit. We're gonna start with the stuff over the. So A, G, D, okay? So we're basically in A, it's basically out of A. The A country scale or A pentatonic major. So you take your A, you go back three half steps, play a minor scale, and you got an A pentatonic major scale. Okay, so that's the first lick right there. So he's sliding from the two on the D string to the four on the D string. Nice and tight. Then he's going two, open, two, open, two on the G string. So he's kind of already emphasizing that flat seven, that kind of bluesy mixolydian kind of thing. Um, because we do have the G in there, right? Because that's. Because you might expect it to be more that note, because that's more in that A major thing but he's playing the flat seven, the G. Okay, so that's the first lick. Then you're gonna slide up. I'm gonna use my third finger. Slide from the four to the six on the G string. So he's sliding up to the third, the third degree of an A major chord. So he's targeting the chord tones of the chord, the main chord. So you do, and then you hit the fifth fret B string, that's your fifth of e A. Okay, so, and you hit that five again, that's the lick. So you do it again, then you slide back, that's a quicker slide, like one note, right? That is not really counted as a note value, it's a slur, it's a four, two, four on the uh, D, back to two, our root note on the G. Okay, so <clears throat> one more time slow. All right, so that that kind of honestly rhythmically, uh, for me, was the hardest part. And then we go four on the D, two on the G. Then open G. Five, four, two. All part of that, that country scale, right? A country scale. All right, so we got. One more time.
more time, slow. And he ends on that. All right, that's all over basically riffing on the A, right? That was all over. I'm sorry. All right, so where are we at? Still, still playing over that same chord change. So we have. Then we go. There's from that country scale. So he's gonna go three to four, either a slide or a or a hammer on's fine. That's on the A string, three to four. Then two on the D. Two, four, two, four, two, four. Five, four, two on the G. And then you're gonna slide up to the sixth fret, G. Right before we do that, that thing, which is, that is actually the hardest part. <clears throat> but we can kind of fake it a little bit. That is the third of A though, from a theory standpoint, again, targeting the chord tones. All right, so, so far. Then we have these triplets. So that's six and five. So we're playing the third and the fifth degree of an A chord. And this, they're just hanging on the A chord for two bars before the chord progression changes here to a D. <clears throat> so now you slide up to nine and eight. What's that? That is basically outlining a dominant A dominant seven chord. It's the fifth and the flat seven. Like a, so it's kind of country scale with some blues in it, right? And I think that's a lot of what the bluegrass sound is. All right, so. that. That's our lick over now that we're on the D chord. Over two bars there. So we go three to four on the D string. Two, four, two on the G. Then you slide to the five, which is the flat seven of D, so that bluesy kind of note again. Then back to four. Two, four, two, two. All over the D chord. chord shifts to C. And over that, we're gonna definitely outline the chord tones of a C. 
because the C chord now is outside of the key of A major. So they've done a, a, uh, a modal interchange. So they're playing more A minor now, okay? So we got to follow these chord changes because if you still, if you're improvising over this and you stay in A pentatonic major, it's really not going to sound right. So he's going to outline a C chord. All right, so that's three, our root note C, three on the A string. And you hit it again. One to two. That's country scale in C now. Play it there. Right? Same thing here. Two hits on the open G. Open G. G is in our C chord. So he's being root, walking up to the third of a C chord, then playing the fifth of the C chord twice. Then two, then back to G. Flat seven of C. There's that blue note. Then back to two, then hit two again, and then to G. So it's. That's over the C, all right? So let's go back. Sorry. Whoops, I forgot that. There it is. So you can hear the chord changes in the melody of the solo. That's perfect. It's fantastic. All right, so now we're back to a D chord. So the, it's going. So back to the D. So when we go back there, very similar riff. So we're doing three to four on the D. Playing with that flat seven of D right there. If you play a D chord here, got the root note, flat seven is just a whole step back. Four, two, five, two, five. Then we have this lick. Five to four, the quick slur slide to two. Pull off to two. Or you can pick it. Then this little hammer on again, three to four and then hit the third fret B string, which is in our D chord. That's the root note. And he actually hits that twice. So it's. It's pretty quick. Then we go back to C. What do we do over the C? Three. No, I'm sorry. Very similar riff. Then we go to three, that flat seven. Three, two, open. All right. 
Let's pause there. Let's go back to the beginning, nice and slow. So we're up to there, right? When you slow it down, it's not quite, doesn't sound quite as daunting of a task to learn. Um, but getting up to the speed can be tricky. Then from there, so you last note we hit was the open G. You're gonna hit the open G again. Do that three to four again. Now we're on E. four bars. I'm sorry. All right. So this is over the E. Let's go from the C. Then it's four to six. Now on this, it's interesting. He's not really, I mean the E chord. I mean, that's the second, that's the six. I'm sorry, not the four. So he's not really, Now there, he's he's definitely grabbing the fifth degree of an E major chord, so a chord tone there. But it's not crazy highlighting the chord tones of an E. He's more kind of just hanging out in that A uh, pentatonic major, which is is fine over the E because the E is the five. It fits in the key of, of A. There's no modal interchange here. All right, so. Then you go four to six. Four, six, five, six, five. All right, let me go back. Then there's that, five, seven, five, Seven is a bend. All A pentatonic major now up here. Okay, so, um, So bend, release to seven, five, and then you hit five again. And then you bend the seven again, release it, and go back to the five. And that's how it ends. And we've gotten through the whole solo now. So it can be done. Take it a bar at a time. That's how I did it. I've been working on it for a day or two. Just, you know, when I can, a bar at a time. And that, that really helps than trying to go through the whole solo every time. It's harder to remember, I think, so.
have it. That's slow, right? You just start working, building up the speed gradually. There you go, I'm not quite there, but getting there. Ah. Closer that time, right? All right, so there you have it. That's the solo to Amy by Pure Prairie League. Mostly A country scale, A pentatonic major, but definitely when you go to the D and the C, he's definitely highlighting. You know, right there, that lick. All playing around that note right there, which is the five, the fifth interval of the D chord. Okay, and then the C for sure. If you're improvising, you know, just throw that flat seven in there so occasionally, and it'll give you that kind of bluegrassy sound, bluesy bluegrassy sound. All right, there you have it. We'll see you in the next lesson.